boom, bringing it right back into the NYS show, getting the sound right, baby. I hope the week went well for everybody as we bounce into another one, but I really do hope the week, the week went well for everybody. I know I talked about it a little bit on my last show. You know, you got to be careful. <laughs> Your boy, you know, so, you know, everything, you know, it's just a chaotic kind of week last week. You know, man, I better got to be careful. I almost went to the upper room, you know, place around. I, you know, I remember one time I, I had got uh, lightheaded and I was, um, I had came, I had came home, we were walking home from campus so when I was in, uh, when I was in school, we were walking home from campus and it was super hot. So I got my grandma out and I was in there, I was chilling. And then all of a sudden you started getting that feeling. And I was like, let me just go and try to go take a shower, get a cold shower, like to try to like figure out what is going on with me. And then next thing, man, next thing I know, I'm waking up on the floor to, man, you all right, man? You all right? So I definitely have had <laughs> one of them kind of weeks. Oh, man, I just had the time stamp something like this because it's crazy. But I, I really do appreciate everybody that continues to check out the show. And I want to be sure that I do tell you that literally was it meant to literally is no pressure. Episode 154 with Hold Up, Clear Episode 154 with Peace underscore Peace. That's the the name on Instagram, all the great places. But the it'll be down there in the in the um, in the extra, in the details, you'll be able to get to that as well as how Mother is Balanced to Life and the Pursuit of Dreams. The interview with actually Brianna M. Thomas by AJ Tanby on Spotify. You can get to it on Spotify. It's available there for you. You know, the previous story was Living Way from Musicians and how the Congress had their interview introduce a streaming service bill that would pay at least one cent per stream. So let me know what y'all thoughts are on that. Keep commenting on that. That's my previous show. Now we hop into the next show, which is about anti-terrorism team. The U.S. Marines have been sent to Haiti to protect the U.S. Embassy um, after Prime Minister says that he will resign. So uh, Ariel or Ariel, I've heard a different pronounce, uh, pronounce, you know, that name pronounced different after I listened to it a couple of times in different stories. But the Prime Minister say he will resign after they come up with this new board of election people on getting everything elected getting people elected and this straight out of haiti so an anti-terrorism team of u.s marines have been dispatched to port of prince haiti to bolster the protection of the u.s embassy and escalating gang violence and deepening political crisis that has left some americans stranded so let's hope that they can go there and this be peaceful but you already know i've seen story where they look at america as the um the enemy just being involved in this whole situation and i don't want to just um we going to see if I can pause the video. I don't want to just be um, going there without knowing that things are going to be safe for me. With no clear plan for transition to a new government, uh, because currently the gang leader uh, or like the gang leader, freedom fighter, I've heard different names for barbecue, which is the name of the, the guy that's leading the gangs in Haiti that took over Port-au-Prince, that got, that had to, to try to take over the airport, that uh they got the they, uh, two prison breaks in Haiti that happened. All of this is behind a barbecue. Now, with no clear plan for transition to a new government with free and fair elections in doubt, Haiti, Haitians are seeking to escape their turmoil written country. Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Ariel Henry announced Tuesday that he would resign only uh, uh, re resign once a transitional presidential council was uh, created. Henry made the announcement hours after um, yes, an announcement hours after officials um, that included Caribbean leaders and U.S. Secretary of State um, and uh, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, uh, Blinken met in Jamaica and urges to discuss a solution to halt. Haiti's firing crisis. Meanwhile, the Dominican Republic is tightening its borders against undocumented Haitians, sending back to a homeland facing an unclear future. Now, I know a lot of people want to compare that to what's going on here because here you are here, they get, you know, people coming over, coming over safely. And they, any, but anytime it seems like no matter where the Haitians um, go, because when I know y'all remember the story about how they treated the Haitians down when they were trying to get into the United States, everybody that came up through South America or, you know, whatever, just making their way to the um, United States. They um the, they were treated very unfairly in these pictures and everything show how they were treated and here they are that they neighbor the Dominican Republic they're treating them the same way versus how we doing people here we opening it, the flood you know they open like the floodgates treat them with respect you don't really hear too many like stories of what these people compared that they were treated like they said that they were treated like dogs man so the cbs news after he had been de uh, detained without food earlier in the day a woman collapsed as she was being taken off of an overcrowded immigration truck hope i get that video showing her showing that i put that whole thing up on the screen haitian american dana joseph happened to be driving by and, and put her in the back of his truck and rushed her to the hospital 
Hmm, that's a line up there. I don't know, but I'm glad that he was there. Uh, it could be, it could be my family, but even though I don't even know her, so this is my car that I have to use just to save her, save her life. I'll do it, Joseph said. These scenes at the border come after a collision of Haitian stakeholders and international leaders, including the United States, helped usher in agreement to dissolve Henry's failing government and do what we do best with the influence of others replace it. Haiti has struggled with terminless po a political unrest for decades along with crippling gang violence. In September, the Biden administration pledged $100 million, and later another $65 million to support the Haitian National Police and improve security in the nations in the island's nation. The UN Security Council voted in early October to approve the mission and send a multinational force to Haiti for one year in hopes of quelling the rise of violence, but they haven't been able to do that. And then again, they're able to put all this money into Haiti that 100, and that's 165 million but if you look at any of the videos anything that they put out i have seen nothing in the positive in the positive direction to show me that what 165 million has done for haiti not in any single way you show me a story where i where it's been something positive that i'm seeing being done about the 165 uh, million that's already been given so who's keeping account for that it's just like the money that go to ukraine who really keeping account for all that i've done stories about how it's like oh man we got the numbers wrong in many of these many of different cases so i don't know what's going on with the money of haiti still in the shape of day in especially around the um you know around the capital for the prince the latest about the gains violence erupted at the end of February, as Henry flew to Kenya to push for the deployment of that multinational force, heavily armed gangs attacked key government sites and attempted to seize control of the airport in Port-au-Prince, forcing businesses and schools in the area to close and displacing an estimated 15,000 people from their homes in the capital city. Attacks on two on Haiti's two largest prisons also led to a mass escape of thousands of inmates. Now, let me see if I can play this video. Now, there is no real way to escape the widespread gang violence and spiraling humanitarian crisis. Our Christian Benavides is at the Haitian border with the Dominican Republic, where people, Christian, are trying to get out of Haiti. Good morning, Christian. Emery, good morning. We're anticipating another busy day here at the border crossing where people are being deported by the truckloads to a country with an uncertain future. Now, as Haiti's political future hangs in the balance, the neighboring Dominican Republic is cracking down on undocumented Haitians, rounding them up and sending them back to their country. Yesterday, we saw a woman who collapsed as she was being taken off an overcrowded immigration truck. We met a Haitian American who happened to be driving by, put her in the back of his truck and rushed her to the hospital. These scenes at the border comes at a moment of desperation for Haiti after a coalition of Haitian stakeholders and international leaders, including the U.S., helped usher in the agreement to dissolve Prime Minister Ariel Henry's failing government and replace it. It follows weeks of gang violence that have endangered the streets of the nation's capital and displaced thousands of people. Now, some Haitians are skeptical about what comes next. The ongoing unrest has left some Americans in Haiti stranded. Now, some Haitians are skeptical about what comes next. The ongoing unrest has left some Americans in Haiti stranded. Remember, there are currently no commercial flights in and out of Haiti. Those Americans that we've spoken to here at the border crossing tell us about that treacherous journey that they had to make. Because remember, this is the only way. Getting to the Dominican Republic is the only way for them to get home. And marie A woman got the help that she uh, needed. Thank you so much. Hey, man, so please be sure to look more into what's going on. And hey, let me see if I can get up out of this screen, but I do want to make sure that Let's explore your future with Udemy. You can learn. Yeah, I had to, uh, yeah, but overall, I just want to make sure that everybody was aware that they have, you know, the prime minister said that he's going to step down. And now, like, okay, now you're going to leave it up to outside powers to come up with whoever's going to lead Katie Nets. Katie got to be led, led by Hayes, and they got control their own destiny and you know to be honest if they're going to be fair elections and let two people that the people want to be the ones that run a proper race like we do here and most of all i think what's important in this scenario like with the united states that there is an actual like con you know actual like congress that really are the people that are behind it it's not just like this one group of seven people that can you know that are controlling you know the whole 
things, like a whole government full of things. A lot of these countries, like I see just too many examples of it, like, yeah, well, we're just going to take over. We're going to do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to take over. We're going to do our thing. But then it's like all these other factors of how we're going to get the job done. I don't see how that's going to be considered. So y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are on this story overall. Like I say, anti-terrorism team. U.S. Marines sent to Haiti to protect U.S. Embassy after the Prime Minister says he will resign. So there are people, there are good parts of Haiti that are being just completely overshadowed due to what's going on with the actual turmoil. But you have, you know, the, the issues at the airport, no commercial flights. It's just in a real tough condition right now. So let's hope that whatever they're going to do with this special team and that they can actually get some people in there that want to be elected by the people and y'all choose this person or that person, when they time over, agree to vote, vote again, choose that person, that person. Let's see how it goes, y'all. Let me know what y'all thoughts on the story. It's taking a while. I appreciate the support, and I'll be right back with another show.